Where to live in Edmonton? There's so many communities in Edmonton, it could be hard to know which one is right for you. I mean, you could find the basic information on Wikipedia and Google Maps, but rarely will you find helpful information from a local Edmonton resident and realtor about the good, the bad, and the ugly. Well, search no further. This video series is going to provide you with that information for one Edmonton community at a time. This video features downtown Edmonton. Whether you're moving to Edmonton or you need to relocate within the Edmonton area, there's no doubt you have wondered where to live in Edmonton. In this video, I'm going to tell you about the pros and cons of living in downtown Edmonton. But before we get started, go ahead and click that subscribe button and that little bell so you don't miss out on videos I post weekly. I personally am a downtown resident, the downtown dweller as I call myself. So as you can imagine, it's super easy to tell you about all the good stuff and kind of hard to tell you about the bad and the ugly. Because to be honest, for me, the good always the bad. So let's get started with the good. In downtown Edmonton, you can be car free. As downtown Edmonton is very walkable and bikeable. There are big sidewalks in every street and bike lanes throughout downtown, connecting you with bike lanes throughout the city. Side note on bike lanes, though I do love them, it kind of pisses me off when there's a cyclist riding on the sidewalk, almost running over my dog, or in front of me in a car lane when the bike lane is parallel to where they are. Struggle's real. Moving on. Uh, close proximity to the river valley is also great, especially for those outdoor enthusiasts, people with dogs, or those just want to get away from the city without having to go too far. It's so peaceful there. Downtown Edmonton has plenty of transit options. All LRT lines intersect in downtown. Plus, there are other options like buses, e-scooters, and the high-level streetcar, which takes you from downtown to White Ave. Downtown is close to the three major post-secondary schools, with Grand McEwen being right in downtown, with the U of A being just across the river, and Nate a few blocks north of downtown, both accessible by LRT. Downtown is close to major arts, theater, and entertainment venues like the Royal Museum, the Art Gallery, the Citadel, and Rogers Place, the home of our Edmonton Oilers. So you would wonder if you ever went to a Toronto or Vancouver game, because there's so many of those fans there. The snow clearing efforts in downtown are amazing as they are with any other major roads in Edmonton, but that's the one benefit of having a high volume of traffic. Downtown has this amazing park, which includes a fenced dog park, pear trees, a bunch of seating to enjoy the outdoors, and a community garden. This park currently exists in downtown, but there's another even better one coming soon. And last but not least for the good, there are many local artisan type restaurants and pubs in downtown. It's hard to pick to say what's my favorite as there's so much variety, but I do go to Kelly's Pub and Trey Carnalis a lot. Moving on to the bad. Downtown can feel really unsafe for some people, as you could likely run into people living on the street, though typically they keep to themselves. From time to time, you may get people asking you for money. In downtown, you could also be a victim of car or parking garage break-ins. They are all too common these days. Doesn't happen to everybody, but it does happen. It has happened to me and it sucked. For living in downtown, your options are limited to apartment style, apartments or condos. And last but not least, buying in downtown is more expensive than other communities when you compare condos and condo sizes. And now for the ugly. Parking in downtown is the worst. Everybody agrees with that. If you're not reading the signs right, you're gonna get ticketed, or worse, you're gonna get towed. Parking is expensive and is rarely free. Sometimes you can find free spots late at night, but you have to move by 7 a.m. or some streets not till 9 a.m. If you want the tips and tricks and the hacks of parking downtown, definitely check out my video on parking in downtown Edmonton. And the other ugly truth about living in downtown, which might be pretty obvious, is that getting out of downtown 
sucks during evening rush hour. I would say you basically have to double your commute time or just avoid it completely if possible. So finally, when choosing a community to live in Edmonton, when the good outweighs the bad for you, you have found your Edmonton community to call home. Does downtown feel right for you? Check out my link in the description to see what's for sale in downtown. Still exploring? Check out my other videos on Edmonton communities. The good, the bad, and the ugly. If you found this information to be interesting or helpful, please go ahead and click that like button and share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.